hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be uh swatches and try-ons of some of the new rouge allure ink and rouge allure um they're not lax we'll get to it in a minute anyways i received a random email from chanel because i'm signed up for their emails for early access to new rouge allure colors and when i went on the site you know there was no promotion about this i had no idea this was coming up i didn't see anything on instagram about it so it was very random and i just wanted to show you the colors that i picked up i picked up three of the new ones and there was one that is not new but it was out of stock for a very long time and it just came back into stock so let's get to it this is the beautiful little uh packaging that it comes in these it looks like a little purse and it has like this bow attached to it here and then when you open it you have your stuff on the inside so First things first, let me just show you. These are like these new uh, stickers. I don't know if you guys have placed an order recently or you guys have noticed that these stickers have changed in my recent videos. I almost dropped this on the ground. Uh, but I think this is like the fall stickers. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're really cute. All right. So Sophia is my... Uh, Chanel uh, sales representative in the Atlanta, Georgia uh, boutique. So I place all my orders with her. I will leave her information in the description box below in case you guys want to place an order. So she did provide some skincare samples. She knows that I love the skincare uh, for Chanel. She included a, an anti pollution exfoliating gel. I have the full size version of this. I really enjoy it. A review video for this will be coming soon. And a Hydra Beauty Camilla Repair Mask and a Anti-Pollution Cleansing Cream to Gel Foam. So I love these. I do use them up. But I do save some of these um, for travel. Now in the past, I've gotten a lot of use out of these, you know, with travel. Uh, this year I haven't been traveling that much, so I've just been using them on a regular basis. They do have quite a bit of product in them. Uh, they have uh, 0.17 fluid ounce in each. And I know it may not seem like a lot, but it, pretty, it lasts a pretty long time. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off with the colors I purchased. The I'm going to start off with the new ones because I only purchased three of the new ones and I had to go off the swatches and pictures that were on the Chanel website, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, so I couldn't actually see real life swatches of these. And so maybe when I start to see more swatches online, maybe I'll go back and order some more. But for the time being, these were the four that I ordered. So, actually, I was right. They are new Rouge Allure Ink Fusion colors and new Rouge Allure Lac colors. So, the three of the new colors I purchased was one Rouge Allure Ink Fusion in Orange Enigmatique. That is number 838. And the box is different from the Rouge Allure Lax. I got two Rouge Allure Lax. I got 82 Beige Confidential and 83 Beige Secret. Well, secret. I'm sure that's what that means in French. So see how the boxes are different? This one is matte and these are like shiny. The lettering is also different. So I own several Rouge Allure Ink Fusions and this is a very comfortable uh, like liquid lipstick matte it's not very drying and my favorite color in this is serenity now it's a very popular color the other lip color i purchased was 834 ambiguate but this isn't new this actually was launched during i think it was last year's fall collection if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong in the comments down below but i think that's when this launched and i just missed out on it i 
couldn't see live swatches of it. I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but as I started to see more swatches online, I I saw that the color was buildable. So when I decided to go and purchase it, this color has been sold out for a really long time and it just came back into stock and I wanted to get my hands on it. So let's go ahead and start off with the new ones and then we'll get to the not new one, just new to me at the end, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start off with uh, Rouge Allure ink fusion and on when you open the box on one of the flaps right here it's telling you that you have to shake these and notice that these bottles are frosted as opposed to the rouge allure lac bottles you don't have to shake and they are glossy with this ombre effect so let's start off with this one, 838 Orange Enigmatique. I'm gonna swatch this in the back of my hand first so that you guys can see it. I thought it was the perfect um, transitional fall color. Online, it looked, just getting an even. Online, it looked perfect for fall like that transition in between summer and fall. So I had to get my hands on this. Now the swatches, you know, the pictures on the Chanel website, I have a hair in my mouth, are not the best. And I usually wait for some live swatches from people in Europe because they tend to get everything first <laughs> before we do. But we had early access and I couldn't resist. I have a mirror here because you guys know my viewfinder is pretty small. So I flipped the applicator and if you guys have been watching me for a really long time, I do that often when I apply lipstick because a lot of product does get on the back of the wand normally, you guys can see, like with any wand kind of applicator. Uh, and I like to use it because when you stick it in and out of the tube, it prevents buildup at the top. So this is one coat. And this is 838. It's going with a second coat. I'm going to bring my mirror just a little bit closer. They're slightly scented. But you definitely can smell it once you are, not even when you're applying it. I'm pregnant, so my senses are heightened. And once I apply this, I can't smell it anymore. So this is two coats. So, so pretty. Online it looked uh, just a little bit uh, deeper, but I'm okay with this. It looks really nice, so love that. Now let's move on to Rouge Allure Lac 83 Beige Secret. Actually, let me look at both of these because I want to go from lightest to darkest. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna go with either one. They're kind of sort of similar, so. Now the Rouge Allure Lacs 
for those of you who are not familiar with it they're supposed to be like long wearing lip glosses all right now on the wand for this particular formula i don't get a lot out on the first application in order to get an even um application so that's why i had to dip more than once but here we have number 83 beige confidential this is one coat let me go ahead and apply a second coat and this is with two coats So it's almost like this is a glossy version of 838 Orange Enigmatique. I can't seem to remember the names of these and I only picked up four. <laughs> All right, let me swatch this next to that one so you guys can see. It's like the glossier version of this one. So if you don't want to have uh, both uh, formulas, you don't have to. You can pick up either one depending on what your preference is. Now, these swatches you're seeing are natural light. I film in front of a window. So I find that filming with natural light is the closest you're gonna get to seeing this color in real life. But I really love this kind of muted orange. Uh, this is right up my alley. It reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury's Stone Rose. You guys know I love that. All right, let's go ahead now and apply, uh, what is this one? 83 Beige Secret. Ooh, that's pretty. And this is a lac. Just get enough product to do an even application here. This is an orange with a rosy undertone. Let me swatch this for you guys. This is a very unique color. I don't own anything like this. And this is number 83 Beige Secret. This is also a lac. And this is what it looks like with one coat. It definitely has an orange base, but it has this rosiness to it that's beautiful very unique to my collection let's go in with coat number two now what i meant that this acts like a long wearing gloss it doesn't mean that this you're not going to have color transfer. You're definitely going to have um, color transfer with the lacs. Uh, and a little bit of uh, color transfer with the Allure inks. But not barely. These will, you know, kind of act like a liquid lipstick. But it's much more comfortable. These lacs are just like a long-lasting gloss. And what I mean by that is it's not as... Um, soft and emollient as a gloss it is moisturizing 
but it will last on the lips a lot longer which means that you will be applying this much less than a lip gloss it's also much more pigmented than a lip gloss because they do have color but this is with two coats this is an amazing beautiful formula i love this all right now let's go ahead and try the last one 834 ambiguate So the, this is a Rouge Allure Ink Fusion, so we're going to shake this before applying. And as you can see, although I've been taking them off, they do slightly uh, stain your lips a little bit, but they're kind of all similar shades. They all have that orange undertone. So, okay, this is more of a brown. And I just thought it was going to be a little too dark for me. But we'll see. It's a soft brown. I guess you can build it up for it to be much darker. Which we'll see in a minute. So this is one coat. I like it. It's a soft brown. And I definitely see myself wearing this during the fall. Let me swatch it for you guys. This is definitely the darkest color. So you can see it's a much deeper brown based color. Almost matches my nails. All right, let's go in with a second coat. Another thing, don't tilt these bottles upside down. They will leak. The formula is thin. And this is two coats. It definitely is much deeper. So I think with this one, I would just do one coat. But it does kind of match my nails. <laughs> oh, I got some on my teeth. Alright, so these are the four colors that I picked up. Uh, the, I, the reason I didn't pick up any of the other ones was because they were a lot more red based. So there was a lot of red shades. And I'm super, super picky with my red shades. I really only pick up red shades with blue undertones. Uh, so I really own... I think about two or three red lipsticks from Chanel and I just don't leave that realm but anything nude anything orange muted I'm I'm so there I love nudes from all spectrum nude pinks nude orange nude browns I the whole the whole nine anyways so this completes this video thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me give you a little lineup of what they look like next to each other. I have to say the bottles and packaging of this is absolutely beautiful. And even the tops are different. Lax have the gold, you know, and then these whole, oh, these bottles are matte. 
and these are like this ombre finish they have to them maybe if i grab them from here so so cute all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye